नमस्कार वेन यू टॉक अबाउट ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग दिस ब्लू ड्रम बिकम द सिंबल ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग ऑर्गेनिक फर्टिलाइजर वेन यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट ऑर्गेनिक फर्टिलाइजर most of the experts say take this blue drum with 200 liter capacity and start making start preparing organic fertilizer if you need more fertilizer than 200 liter or more amount more quantity then you need to increase the number of these blue drums but in india thousands of farmers they have big lands many acres lands they need huge quantity of organic fertilizers they need so what to do Let, allow me to show you a high tech tank farm where you can prepare 25000 liters organic fertilizer this high tech tank farm located in prakriti prerna from the site this site located at village gajraha tribal dominated umria district in madhya pradesh <laughs> this is uh, one of the unique uh, uh, tank farm area prepared for uh, manufacturing the organic uh, fertilizers and uh, you know various other organic materials that will be useful for uh, the plants this uh, soil doesn't have much of uh, carbon content you know it's only 0.3% so you need to enhance the soil and uh, prakriti prerna foundation decided to go with organic uh, fertilizers and pesticides and everything organic so uh, to prepare this uh, fertilizers like jivamrut we need to have uh, gobar i mean the uh, cow dung and cow urine that were the basic uh, material raw materials where whereas urine contains urea so instead of bringing in uh, artificially made urea so uh, it was decided that we'll use uh, urine and then extract uh, urea and other materials to prepare the jivamrut so the question came up you know okay, you know if you look into youtube uh, there all you know talk about one 200 liter tank or 500 liter tank maximum yeah so it's only one tank you're talking about or two tanks maximum and they describe but you know even for such huge farms it is not uh, that you can um, do it with one tank and uh, you know though you may call organic and uh, you know some of these uh, these people they say organic but they they use only 10% organic 90% uh, basically whatever is available in the market you know so it is not really organic uh, uh, you know the crop that they grow so here what happened um, you know srinivas and prakriti prerna foundation they within the 20 acre uh, land they started growing different different uh, sectors in each sector they have uh, vegetables and uh, you know sometimes you know there different crops like um, bajra and in you know in a far off distance so they needed this fertilizer on a daily basis you know and uh, availability of uh, urine cow urine and cow dung you know is not easy you know he you have to pay in order to get something from nearby uh, you know users of uh, cows and buffaloes so here of course mostly cows and uh, so that means you know in order to have different uh, uh, you know natural materials that you have to prepare you need to have different tanks and uh, also when you prepare something uh, like jivamrut in a uh, you ferment in a tank you need to have dilute it so then uh, sinuas uh, has bought almost like you know 20 tanks and then you know uh, he said okay we'll do it but how do you do it you need to connect all the tanks you need to have some kind of a flow of uh, material you know flow from one tank to the other tank and you know how you do it so he last uh, last year when i came here into to uh, this place so he said that you know uh, can you help me you know in bringing these things together 
So, at the time you know I said okay let us do it. So, I got all the information from them what all the things that they mix in order to get uh, various products and uh, and then they should be these tanks should be flexible enough to make uh, one or the other you know it is not that you know you just make one in one tank and so on and so forth that does not work too. So, how do we make this happen and uh, so we, we have prepared a sketch what we typically call it piping uh, diagram and uh, then I, I gave them a kind of a layout as to how you should connect all the tanks and uh, so you need to have uh, first you need to bring in cow dung and urine and put it into a smaller tank like this is a 200 liter tanks over here and then uh, mix up mix everything and then put it into a bigger tank and 2000 you know this is a, these are all 550 liter tanks and uh, then those are 1000 uh, liter and those are 2000 liter tanks. So, so I, I after you put everything together you have to ferment it for a few days and then depending on the temperature and depending on the weather and then you have to keep mixing it and uh, from there you know you need to take that out and then go through the filter system which is there and uh, th then you can put that into our regular uh, piping you know which uh, was already laid which goes to various uh, sections of the land and uh, they they be able to work with that you know you inject this uh, water you know what you call fertilized water or wh whatever and uh, then you know when you are adding and all this uh, you know growth that you see here is uh, you know achieved through this. So, this tank farm area as I was telling it is unique and uh, I have not seen in any kind any YouTube uh, videos to have such a system. This is a very flexible system you can make anything you want and uh, you know that in order for the workers to have some kind of uh, idea uh, as you can see he, he is Nimas, Agnesas, Brahmas, Mathas, Panchas all these uh, things can be made and then you can see various proportions what to what is to be added for each material you know those are all given here. So, it becomes easy for workers you know to uh, mix things and how long they will have to keep and things of that kind. So, it is very useful unique and uh, I hope I contributed something here you know for this uh, system. Uh, basically, I come from a petrochemical industry you know we design several uh, tank farm areas like this and uh, when Srinivas told me that there is a necessity for this then uh, I have used my experience as to how we do typically and uh, how we make this kind of flexibility and you know when we make so many products as I was telling you uh, maybe here itself there are about 6 or 7 and then along with Jeevam Brut there is 8. So, how you do that and then how uh, how you can use uh, every tank in a most effective manner. So, that was the idea and uh, you know my experience has helped you know I hope uh, you know they are using it and then they should be able to you know get what they want with this system. So, uh, in India uh, people are trying to do uh, organic farming they are using these new uh, drums uh, 200 liter. But there is uh, many farmers, they are progressive farmers, they have big farms. So, can they uh, replicate this model? Yes, very much. I mean, if they, if they are interested, they should come and see and uh, definitely they can, uh, it, 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 though it appears um, expensive, but it is not. As I was telling you, they, they can make so many products and simultaneously, you know, depending on the uh, availability of cow dung and cow urine and of course neem, uh, neem oil and few other things that you know depending on what they want to make. So, yes uh, it, it can be replicated and uh, especially for large farms and then where you have various products various uh, uh, items that are grown. See not all vegetables uh, not all uh, crops need the same um, same type of material you know you need to have different materials to be added. That is where this becomes very flexible and then you know they should be able to uh, you know prepare the material and then put it into the uh, pipelines and you know with the drip irrigation especially. So, you can have control.
think so. I think you know uh, when once they see this uh, tank farm area and the type of uh, uh, items that are grown here in in this, so you know for a 15 20 acre, it's a small really. It's not a big one because people grow in 100 acres, 200 acres land. And whereas here we are doing an experiment in 20 acres, you know, with so many type of uh, uh, vegetables and crops and things of that kind. Yes, I think, you know, universities and, uh, you know, people from the other farms who want to do organic uh, farming, they should come and visit and, uh, you know, it's a good, a good idea, you know. Yes, I mean, I don't say my brainchild, you know, I only helped, uh, you know, Prakriti Prerna Foundation and the idea is there as to what to do and uh, all I did was how to do it, you know, and how to lay the uh, tanks and then how to lay the pipes, you know, so that they won't be in the way of anything and then be, be flexible enough, you know, so a, a proper valving has to be there and of course, I made the initial uh, discussion and diagrams and things of that kind based on which they have slightly modified and then you know it, it came out to be uh, very good and uh, very appropriate and uh, of course you know in the, based on the local needs and uh, you know there may be some last minute changes and uh, the filtration system also you know I, I suggested uh, how they should uh, go from one uh, tank to the other tank and then you know how to filter and things of that kind. So, it's uh, it, it, it was originally whatever conceptualized, but there may be slight modification and then they minimize the number of pumps they use and that means, you know, you need to have more flexibility and then they did a good job on that. And the people like uh, uh, Ravin and uh, Srini and, you know, there are a lot of people who have put their thoughts and they're doing a good job, yes. जो हाईटेक मॉडल है ऑर्गेनिक फर्टिलाइजर बनाने का ये कैसे काम करता है और खेतों तक इतनी बड़ी मात्रा में बनने वाला ये जो फर्टिलाइजर कैसे पहुंचता है ये हमको बता रहे हैं प्रकृति प्रेरणा फाउंडेशन के जो इंचार्ज है ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग के रविंद्र सिंह रविंद्र हम यहाँ जीवामृत बनाते हैं इसमें से ये पाइप द्वारा हम लेके जाते हैं वो फिल्टर पे वहां से मशीन द्वारा फिल्टर होके वो पीछे का लाइन से पीछे का लाइन से दो टंकी में जाता है तो 2000 की टंकी आपकी कौन सी वाली है 2000 2000 लीटर की टंकी हमारे 2200 लीटर की टंकी ये है दो टंकी में जीवामृत आता है दो टंकी में वेस्टी कंपोजर आता है जी इसमें से फिर हमने ये ये पाइप द्वारा जी वापस लेके यहाँ से हमने फिर दूसरा मोटर लगा रखा है इस पे इसमें से मोटर द्वारा इसमें से पांच हजार टंकी में इसमें डालते हैं बड़े बड़े टैंक में जी जी इसके बाद बड़ी टंकी से हमने लेके जाते हैं ये पांच एच पी मोटर द्वारा हम खेत पे लेके जाते हैं तो यहाँ से पंपिंग होता है पूरा जी और वो वाला क्या चीज काम करता है वो बेंचुरी है अपना जो कंपाउंड के अंदर जो खेत है उसमें पूरा ड्रिप द्वारा हम पानी देते हैं जी तो देखा आपने पूरा तरह से ये पूरा सिस्टमेटिक एक यहाँ पर फार्म जो टैंक फार्म है वो बना हुआ है इसमें जीवामृत बनाने से लेकर पौधे तक पहुंचने की हर चीज है वो एकदम पाइपलाइन के जरिए कनेक्टेड है सोलर एनर्जी से चलता है तो ये एक, एक कह सकते हैं कि ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग का बेस्ट जो तरीका है वो यहाँ पर अपनाया गया है आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड अंडरस्टैंड एवरी अबाउट दिस हाई टेक टैंक फार्म इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट प्रकृति प्रेरणा फाउंडेशन सो प्लीज विजिट आवर वेबसाइट प्रकृति प्रेरणा डॉट ओ आर जी प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो टू द अदर फार्मर्स सो दे कैन लर्न मोर अबाउट दिस न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी वी विल मीट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन प्लीज टेक केयर नमस्कार